Today's video is brought to you by Wondrium. When it comes to the F-35, whether you're a fan of the fighter or not, it's hard to argue that the Lightning is becoming the fighter of the West. Case in point, recently the Czech Republic requested the purchase of F-35 Lightnings to replace their Saab JAS-39 Gripens, apparently without even considering an updated version of the Swedish fighter. Let's take a look at what this means for Czechoslovakia along with the ever-increasing tensions in today's geopolitical landscape and why the F-35 just keeps winning fighter competitions. Make sure you watch to the end of the video to learn what other designation the F-35 almost had. Today, the Czech Air Force is operating some 14 JAS-39 Gripens under a lease that expires in 2027. The Gripen has served the Czech Republic well, proving to be a reliable and relatively inexpensive fighter to operate. For this reason, many defense experts felt that the Czech government would renew their lease for the Gripen, possibly even upgrading to the latest E and F models. However, the Czech government instead has contacted the U.S. with a request to purchase 24 fifth-generation Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightnings. While this move initially comes as a surprise, when we take a closer look and consider the facts, it does begin to make sense. For example, the Czech defense minister has gone on record stating that the F-35 is a fighter of the future, while implying that the Gripen may be obsolete by 2027 when the current lease expires. Anticipating future needs, the proposal for new F-35 fighters is currently being sought since delivery times normally take years to fulfill with combat aircraft. Further strengthening support for the F-35 is the chief of the Czech General Staff, who essentially stated that the F-35 is more than a fighter, but a platform that integrates an air defense element, a state-of-the-art surveillance and command center, into a fighter airframe. Another Czech official commented that only the F-35 can meet requirements of the Czech government to guarantee the security of their nation. The statement is a bold one and reflects how far the F-35 has progressed in its development. As anyone who followed the evolution of the Joint Strike Fighter or JSF program that ultimately produced the F-35 knows, the Lightning had lofty goals to fulfill and encountered numerous well-documented growing pains. Yet recently in many ways it appeared that the F-35 had turned a corner and began to acquire momentum a couple of years ago when it came to foreign sales. Additionally, the ongoing war in Ukraine has placed a new sense of urgency when it comes to defense spending and the need for the latest tech. The Czech government's choice of the F-35 is significant, as the Czech Republic would be joining some 10 other European nations that are either already operating the F-35 or have lightnings on order. Along with this, the massive shifts in the geopolitical landscape due to recent events have also come at a time when the F-35 program overall is costing less per flight hour to operate while increasing mission-capable rates. Furthermore, with just about 850 examples delivered as of the making of this video and over half a million flight hours logged, the F-35 is quickly becoming the de facto fighter of the West. Getting back to the Czech Chief of Staff's point regarding the Lightning's multi-role integration capabilities, the F-35 has been called the state-of-the-art fighter and is widely considered the most advanced information node in the modern battle space. If you're a regular viewer of this channel, then you probably value learning new things, and when it comes to learning, Wondrium is one of the best. You may have heard about the Great Courses Plus. Well, the folks behind the Great Courses have made big moves to create even better, broader, bigger, and more mind-blowing educational experiences. Enter Wondrium, where you can find all the tried and true Great Courses content plus more. Wondrium is where you find the answer to everything you've ever wondered about. Their carefully curated collection of short and long-form videos, tutorials, how-tos, documentaries, and more is academically comprehensive, thoroughly researched, relentlessly entertaining, and presented by engaging experts. In a nutshell, Wondrium is the place for minds that wonder. I've started watching the Decisive Battles in History course and learned that William the Conqueror, who took over England in 1066, began life under a much less flattering name, William the Bastard, as he was an illegitimate son of Robert the Magnificent. I'm always looking to continue to learn about new topics and grow in new ways, and Wondrium makes this so easy by continuing to add new content to their platform every month. I never doubt there will always be a new topic to explore. If you've ever wondered about anything, Wondrium will be your new favorite place, and they're giving viewers a great offer for a free trial. Show your support for my channel by subscribing to Wondrium now. Seriously, your brain is going to love this place. Please visit wondrium.com slash pilotphotog, click the link in the description below, and start your free trial today. Getting back to the Czech Republic's plan to acquire the Lightning, what does this mean for the Saab Gripen? 
The JAS-39 Gripen was designed as a light, affordable, and durable multi-role fighter that could operate out of improvised airfields, including roads. Having entered service with the Swedish Air Force in 1996, the Gripen was marketed internationally as an export option to a fair number of nations. Having recently introduced an upgraded E-version of the Gripen, Saab was hopeful that more nations would procure the fighter. The E-version includes a larger fuselage, increased weapons payload capability, upgraded avionics including electronic warfare systems, and a more powerful engine. The Gripen was part of several high-profile fighter competitions for nations looking to select their next fighter. Brazil did select a Gripen, opting for 36 total aircraft. Brazil's Gripens are designated as F-39s, with the first F-39E flight taking place in 2019. However, the Gripen did not fare so well in other competitions. Other nations such as Finland, Canada, and Switzerland held extensive fighter selection competitions of their own, some lasting years. In all three cases, the F-35 was chosen. Naturally, the selection of the F-35 by several of Sweden's neighbors and Canada was not well received in some circles, but we have to assume that all factors were considered and in the end, the F-35 was the best option. Interestingly, the Gripen series of aircraft used versions of GE's F-404 and F-414 engines, which are found on the Legacy Hornet and Super Hornet, respectively. And speaking of engines, engine technology is another area where the F-35 is on the cutting edge. The Lightning's current power plant is the Pratt & Whitney F-135 series of engines, which produced about 43,000 pounds of thrust with afterburner, making it one of the most powerful engines on a fighter today. However, the F-35 program is always looking to make improvements, and when it comes to the power plant, this is no different. The Lightning is already participating in the Air Force's Adaptive Engine Transition Program, or AETP, the goal of which is to place a revolutionary engine design into the F-35A and C variants. This new engine is what is known as an adaptive cycle engine. An adaptive cycle engine automatically produces two distinct modes of operation, high thrust output for combat maneuvers or high efficiency performance for extended loiter times. General Electric has developed a working prototype which has been designated the XA100. In recent tests, GE's new engine has shown a 20% increase in thrust along with a 30% increase in range. Additionally, the new engine runs much cooler which allows for increased electrical power generation for the aircraft. This increased power output allows the Lightning to run even more advanced systems not possible on other platforms. Two such examples are directed energy weapons or lasers and the Navy's planned laser-induced plasma filament hologram. This system projects the heat signature of another aircraft hundreds of feet away from its host to distract and decoy heat-seeking infrared missiles. Improving thermal management allows for up to two times system architecture growth, providing ample opportunity for future demands as the F-35 platform grows and matures. Many of these advancements should be operational by 2027, which benefits the Czech Republic when they begin acquiring their F-35s. Still, one has to consider if another European-developed fighter was considered for the Czech Air Force, the Eurofighter Typhoon. Again, another excellent fourth-plus generation platform the Typhoon was jointly developed between partner nations Germany, Italy, the UK, and Spain. However, while the Typhoon does incorporate some features to reduce its radar signature, it was not designed from the ground up as a low, observable, or stealth aircraft. Interestingly, Germany, who's one of the Typhoon's core partners, has itself decided to purchase F-35s to strengthen its defensive presence. Again, this move to acquire Lightnings is directly due to the ongoing situation in Ukraine. And the thought is that if a core partner of the Typhoon is choosing the Lightning, then other nations are likely to follow suit. In that regard, Austria, which is another operator of the Typhoon, has also expressed interest in replacing their fleet of Eurofighters with F-35 Lightnings. Part of this may be due to the Typhoon's estimated cost per flight hour of around $60,000, as compared to the Lightning's estimated cost per flight hour of around $30,000. The F-35's modular design, fifth-generation sensor fusion and integration capabilities have likely played a key role in the Czech government's decision to inquire about procuring Lightnings in 2027. Furthermore, as more nations adopt the F-35 as their fighter of choice, unit and maintenance costs continue to trend downward. New technologies and innovations will ensure that the F-35 continues to be the fighter of the West for decades to come. But did you know that the F-35 was nearly called something else? Apparently, the F-35 fighter was to be designated the F-24. But when the announcement of the winner of the Joint Strike Fighter program was awarded to Lockheed Martin, a reporter asked what the designation of the new aircraft would be. 
The Pentagon official did not know the answer, and a nearby Air Force general stated X-35. This was misheard and repeated as F-35, and the name stuck. Let me know in the comments below if you have information about the F-24 versus F-35 naming designation. Want to learn more? Tap for the next video. Now you know.